This is a video of how organized my binder is, which I consider it to be like the most organized binder I've ever seen. So on the front page I have all the inserts that I have, which is the PG, and I should have my smart source and bread plum, but okay, that's a surprise because they're not here. But yeah, so on the front I just put all the inserts that are in here. And these are all the inserts from 129. That was the last time I bought inserts, and it's March, um, the first week of March now, and I did order the inserts for... March 5th. So all of these expired coupons I will be taking out and I will be replacing it with my inserts from this week. So here I've written all the coupons that came in the PG and when they expire and their um, dollar value. And I just um, scratched out what I ran out of or what had expired. So that's this folder. This is my PG. And then here's the smart source and I highlighted like all the ones that I was going to use. And then another smart source. And a red palm, this one, and the second red palm, and the third red palm. And then this was the red palm that was in my newspaper insert from my local town, and that's just there. So after all of my inserts, I have all of these loose coupons. I found this in a box of cookies at Food Lion. And then here I just have all of my loose coupons, which I will be adding more. And I will try to organize them like I did with these. My binder. Um, I have each page split and in one of these sheet protectors so I can easily browse and see which coupons I have. And that way I didn't have to spend a lot of time cutting each individual coupon and having to put them in the little baseball slots like um, other couponers do. This is just easy. I just grab it out, cut it out, and slide it back in, and that's it. Like these, I didn't even use, I just put them back in. And they do slide around, so it looks a bit messy, but I know where everything is at because of my um, list that I have here. My inserts were through the fifth that I ordered. I only wanted um, the red plum and the smart source. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the old inserts and put the new ones in. And the way I do that is I take the first sheet and have it open like that and set this aside and continue to do the same with this. And it is faster when you use both hands. So once I have these cut up like that, I will cut through in half and I will put them like this. So I will set them up like that and I will continue to do the rest the same way. You know, since this is the next sheet, but it's actually like a little a booklet. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna put it like that and separate it from the rest. And we're gonna cut it up. Okay, so the way it was, it was like this, right? So we're gonna put it like that. Instead of dividing it into two. Okay, and then the rest. This one we will put into two different ones because this is the front and this is the back of one little booklet. So since this was at the front, it's going to go in the front, and this was in the back, so it's going to go in the back, like that. And you just continue to do the same thing until you have all of these Alright guys, up. so I'm done doing my binder. I have everything in here. I just need to do my labels, and um, all of my internet printables, I organized them. And I just put like whatever the category was related to into like the sleeves. So like laundry with the laundry. And I need to rewrite my labels here. I used a sharpie but, and I put tape on here so I think it'll be pretty easy to erase with the expo marker. 
And so these are the little labels that I was talking about that I need to write what coupons I have inside. But I don't think I will because I'm not going to keep on that much anymore. I just need to do my CVS sales and get rid of my my extra bucks and assess to the Mega Kroger sale. So yeah, like Clorox and Lysol. And then I cut out some because I'm going to trade some coupons. And then here... I've just organized like all the ones that I'm gonna use into like one sheet and then what I think I'm gonna use then here's some more and some more so I just put all of these in like the in an order that I think I'll use them most or most frequently or like soon And then these are just extra tabs. Um, I really don't know why I had them. I guess I can organize them later in alphabetical order. But I don't think so since I'm not going to keep on that much. And then here I just have some coupons that are like too big enough to put in a, a little sleeve. And... And then these are all that I took out of my binder. And then here I have some um, mesh bags that I'm going to put my coupons in when I do my breakdowns. And it's so like one's going to be for CVS, Dollar General, Kroger, um, and then separate transactions if I need to. And I got these from a Mary Kay starter kit. Um, they The starter kit has five mirrors and they come in in these little mesh bags so I have five and then this one um I don't oh it was from a makeup organizer by Mary Kay as well and it's really big it expands and it holds like a lot inside so I was thinking about putting all of my um calculators and stuff like that but I remembered I had this extra makeup bag it's um a bag that you get for free when you get the um when you purchase the five piece brush set by Mary Kay and since I use the brushes um I just had this extra and I've got my pencils and my scissors here and then it comes with another little pouch that you can take off because it has a velcro strap and inside I just have um paper clips and more markers and then here it's just like um, my breakdown list and all of that. Have it here. Um, I need to find my calculator and I will put it here. It's like pretty big. And then I have a smaller one. I'm going to put it in here because you can never be well enough prepared when you're out in the store. And then I also have in my binder, well, my little coupon bag. Um, this, what is it called? Um, I forgot. Clipboard, yeah, and a notebook where I write like some more stuff or I even plan out my transactions there, my breakdowns. And this is my couponing bag. I got it in my 31 starter kit as well. It's really big and it's uh, really, it's stiff and it's heavy duty. It stands up almost by itself. Um, it has a lot of space. And I need to wash it. I need to wash it because it's dirty. And it has pockets out here and on the side. And it's got three on this side. And it's really, really sturdy. Very heavy duty. So if you have a consultant, you need to get one. And if you need like any Mary Kay items, Make sure to contact me because I am still a Mary Kay consultant. But I'm not for 31 anymore because um, I deactivated my account. Well, I don't know. I just stopped ordering because uh, I didn't get a lot of customers to order. So, yeah. And it's just my Tic Tac I was um, chewing on. 
So yeah, guys, that's how I organize all of my couponing materials. Thanks for watching. Um, please comment what do you think I did good on. Like, what ideas you have that I could improve on. Or if you're doing the same. Or if you've never seen something like this. So, yeah, share, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks.